हेलो तुषार हाउ आर यू हेलो सर आई एम गुड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद क्विक इंट्रोडक्शन कैन यू टेल मी अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड योर एक्सपीरियंस विद द सेल्स फोर्स मार्केटिंग क्लाउड ये सर लाइक लाइक आई हैव बीन वर्किंग विद सेल्स फोर्स मार्केटिंग क्लाउड एस एफ एम सी फॉर वन यू एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड आई हैड Uh, created some email templates. I had created some customer uh, customer journeys and also worked on automation is uh, automation studio for automation purpose. Okay, sounds good. Let's move into the technical side. Uh, what is Salesforce Marketing Cloud and what are uh, its key features? Also, if you can mention some uh, limitations, so tell me. Okay, definitely. Uh, let me try. Uh, so. so there are uh, like sfmc is a platform which allows us to do the marketing stuff things right uh, like uh, for the, this is sim- simply used for personalized marketing and uh, like uh, doing the campaigns and all so for do- that purpose we use salesforce marketing cloud the benefit is like it uh, it provides us flexibility to do the marketing part in various channels like email mobile social media so through various channels we can do the marketing things and there are uh, like various key features if i if i tell you about like we can send in uh, email we can do email marketing using email studio other than that we can create customer journeys and also we can do automated automation like uh, with the automation studio like uh, importing some data scheduling that on okay. the active basis if we want that we can do that using automation studio and uh, through mobile studio there is mobile studio as well through that we can send push notification or smss on mobile devices okay so that are the key features and uh, other than that the limitations if i'll talk about uh, so the limitations is that for a beginner if if uh, like even i when whenever i was the beginner started with sfmc it was not that easy to like uh, uh like uh, understand okay at the very first moment like when the beginner start learning it other than that like uh, it's very expensive for uh, i can say for small businesses that is uh, i can say and uh, the other thing is like uh, integration in this in sfmc is a little tricky which i can think of because uh, i had seen people working in, in working on integration and i have observed that they face difficulty in that as well yeah so that is something which i yeah can okay, that's a good summary okay when it comes to working with different teams and the divisions uh, what is a business unit in sfmc okay so yeah business unit is simply an environment in that environment uh, we do all the things all the things are like uh, like uh, for example in salesforce they in uh, salesforce developer edition or sales cloud or or i can say salesforce developer edition or there is a whole org through which we can access the setup the gear icon the profiles the users the application various crm products applications yes the similar way like in sfmc also we have a complete org and environment through which we can access all the builders all the studios at single place like uh, whichever we want to use whenever in whichever scenario we can use that so that is a business unit and now uh, the uh, like uh, yeah that's something which i can think yeah exactly so now like as you uh, know that sfmc offers the several products as well so can you mention a few of them and describe about them yeah as i have already mentioned few of them like email studio i have already mentioned yeah that and that's simply like used for sending emails uh, also like journey builder for making customer journey journeys over different pla- different channels so that is something which we can do using journey builder like over email or mobile channel if i want to do uh, create customer journey so that i can do using journey builder other than that we have automation studio and uh, the mobile studio is also there like automation studio is simply for importing the data as i have already mentioned like for scheduling the data import kind of thing these kind of repetitive activity we want to perform so in that case we use automation studio okay. other than that social studio is also there uh, uh, like a uh, that is something which is used for customer engagement over social media platform various social media platform we do have so if we want to uh, like uh, 
engage increase the engagement over the social media platform for that we have social studio yeah so that's about the major key pro- products i can think of right now. okay that's good uh, so have you ever imported any email templates from any external sources like canva into the sfmc uh, like uh, no like i haven't did that but yeah that i know that is it it is possible it is feasible to do it like because sfmc allow us to do email import kind of thing like okay. you can like from various impl- uh, platforms wherever we have created the email template we just need its html there if we have the html that we can import in sfmc okay so uh, so let's talk about something about like data models in the sfmc so what are their different types and how they are different from each other uh, i can think of two data models here like uh, uh, the very basic one is uh, the list Okay. So basically, list is simply uh, whichever the list you will be creating in SFMC. It is solely for the purpose of storing subscribers, the uh, the uh, the data of uh, contacts to whom we'll be sending the mails. That's okay. All. For the uh, the list is used for that purpose only. And the next one is uh, data extension. The another data model I can say. so data extensions are flexible enough like in that we can store orders data products data we can store uh, uh like a uh, any other like a uh, customers data obviously like a uh, customers data as well like the context data so any kind of data if we want to store we can use data extension for uh, but for a small database if you have small data and for only for of the subscribers then you, we can go for list okay okay that makes sense and now let's take to some kind of scenario based like you need to import a large file of a 40 mb into the data extension all right mm-hmm. and so what's the best best option for importing the data okay so for 40 mb as i know the limit is uh, there is a limit like 20 mb so okay. whenever uh, i want to import the data less than 20 mb then i can use a simple operation like import operation i i can inbuilt import operation i can use and i can simply upload my file my csv file uh, directly to the sfmc okay but more than 20 mb i have to go for ftp option they are available in the sfmc only so that is the best option for this particular scenario i think right Okay, so for that FTF, uh, FTP would be the uh, way you need to go for. Okay, let's uh, say that you have created a data extension. Okay, but accidentally you have assigned the wrong data type to that particular field. Uh, let's suppose age field is there. So how can you fix that? Okay, so you mean to say like I have created a data extension and in that I have created a field with wrong data type. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me think. Uh, so in that case, uh, what 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 happens is like uh, what i can re- recall is i'm very i'm not very sure about it but in sfmc we cannot after creating a field we cannot change the data type okay uh, and other thing next thing uh, the second thing i need to take care of i cannot directly delete the field and create a new one it's better to first take the back- backup of the of the all data which i have then after that if i have the data in the data extension okay. i have to take the backup like exporting that and after that i can delete the field and create a new field uh, age field with the right data type and then i can import the my backup data again mm, yeah that's correct using now, op- override operation i can use yes yeah yeah that's correct so now can you tell me about the different types of data extensions available different types of uh, data extensions available yeah so uh, okay so when i when we whenever we go in sfmc and try to create a data extension there are, are three options comes there for okay. data extension one is standard one second one is filtered and the third one is random data extension so these three data extensions are there and uh, uh, like the standard one is the normal one like you create the data extension from scratch it is not having any data inside it you need to create every single field inside it the filtered one is like simply creating data extension from another data extension let's say there is a, a data extension of the subscriber data my leads are there in salesforce and i have created a data extension for those leads in my uh, sfmc 
सो आई कैन अप्लाई अ फिल्टर लाइक लाइक आई वॉन्ट ओनली दोज लीड्स डेटा इन अ न्यू डेटा एक्सटेंशन विच आर विच केम फ्रॉम वैब लीड सोर्स वैब सो आई कैन क्रिएट दैट डेटा एक्सटेंशन देयर इन एस एफ एम सी विथ ओनली विथ न्यू डेटा द फिल्टर डेटा विथ लीड्स having uh, came from web web okay right and the third one random which i have mentioned uh, so random is simply like if there is a huge amount of data in data extension i and i do not want to send or do not want to apply a particular action uh, in that huge amount i want to apply it in a small like to certain section certain okay. section of uh, people only i want to apply that particular action or data only i want to apply the action so in that case i can create a random data extension it allows us to divide a whole data extension into different multiple data extensions with some percentage like i can create a data extension with 30 20 50% of uh, data random data will come div- get divided into three data extensions with 30% 20% and 50% is this is not a fixed number i can change it but like we yeah. are creating some kind of a sample data from that yeah like sample uh, like i can create the data from one data extension i'll be creating other data extensions with some some uh, what i can say some portion of the data okay yeah good explanation about this particular types of the data extensions available so the next thing is what is the all subscriber list a uh, list in the sfmc and how it is differ from the data extension okay so uh, all subscriber list is something which is already defined already existing in the sfmc or so this list consists of all the all the all the uh, i can say the all the subscribers who to whom uh, like who have received email from our sfmc or Okay. so whenever any send activity we perform from our sfmc that particular subscribers data get added automatically into all subscriber list it is a predefined list okay that's right so let's shift to the journey builder can you walk me through the life cycle okay so life cycle uh, by life cycle uh, i think uh, uh, i need to explain the like how uh, what all the steps i need to take for yeah. creating a journey so the first thing uh, when i create a journey i have to select the entry source from where the data will come like it is it going to come from any data extension or somewhere else it will be coming it is going to come from a automation studio so ex- from exact uh, which source the data will come like the entry source i need to define and after that there will be multiple stages like in one stage i'll be applying uh, let's say uh, email send activity and then in the second stage i can apply like a, like a, if the user like i can apply some criteria if the user open the email then i can, based on that criteria if open then i can do some other things if he haven't opened then i can do some other things like let's say i can use any other elements as well like wait wait is also there in uh, okay. journey builder so yeah so that's the life cycle this is how it works yeah good explanation tushar so now tell me what's the purpose of the send relationship in the data extensions okay the uh, send relationship comes into play when we create our data extension so when we click on new data extension and we start creating the data extension we fill its name we select the fields we create the few of the fields and meanwhile we get the an option to use mm-hmm. to define the send relationship only if we are creating a sendable data extension which means like a a data extension for the uh, the subscribers kind of users kind of data if we are having in that data extension if we want to put that kind of data so in that case we we define the send relationship we define in send relationship that what uh, what particular field in our data extension will map to the subscriber key because then only like whenever the send activity is performed on the data extension then only that data will go into the all subscriber list and all subscriber list is also having one field one column which is subscriber key yes so so that's why it should be mapped so it okay. should be defined whenever the data extension is of okay so my last question uh, can we delete a user in sfmc uh no like it's simply like uh, salesforce itself like here we cannot delete a user in sfmc 
we are, we can either deactivate it or freeze it so yeah that's uh the okay. okay thanks so sir i really appreciate your time uh, and clear explanations okay thank you sir okay all right